Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's session. My name is Omar Awan. I'm the Associate Vice Chair of Education and the Associate PD for the Diagnostic Residency at the University of Maryland. Today, I thought I'd talk a little bit about RSNA and how to make the most of RSNA as a trainee, whether you're a resident or fellow or a medical student. A lot of trainees have come to me and asked me, what can I do at RSNA? This is my first time going. What should I be looking out for? And I can think back to 2010 when I was a second year radiology resident at University of Maryland. That was my first time attending RSNA and I was completely overwhelmed. I was literally in awe of all the great things that I saw at RSNA because I'm not sure if you guys know, but RSNA is actually the uh, most attended medical conference in the world of all specialties. So I'm talking about 50 to 70,000 individuals come and attend this meeting every year. And it can be very overwhelming. So I wanna take some time to talk about what you can do to make the most of this meeting at RSNA. So first, there is a resident lounge and this is a must visit for all trainees that are at RSNA. It's free, it's in the back left corner of where all the educational exhibits are at RSNA. You won't miss it. Uh, it's open for the entire duration of RSNA. So from Sunday, November 28th to Thursday, December 2nd, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time. And it's, even though it's called a resident lounge, it's actually open to fellows and to medical students. So any trainee, any medical student can go in there. You can go relax, meet other peers, uh, network with other people. You can enjoy free refreshments, free drinks. It's a win-win. It's literally a great place just to kind of hang out when you're at the meeting. Uh, it's a must go to for, uh, for all of you guys. So please, please take advantage of this wonderful resource. The other thing is there's actually medical student events that are occur in the resident lounge. So for example, on Sunday, the first day of the meeting from 1.30 to 2.30 Central Time, there's a program director Q&A session specifically for medical students. So I know it's interview time. You guys have tons of questions for program directors. This is your time to meet them and to ask your questions in a very uh, nonchalant, uh, relaxed way. So a must go to for medical students. And I think this is what you guys will really enjoy at the meeting. And then immediately right after that, you can kick back and relax and enjoy uh, a, a short presentation on abdominal radiography and learn the principles of interpreting abdominal x-rays. So you can, not only do you get to ask all your questions to BDs, you can actually learn radiology while you're there at RSNA as well. So it's a, just a great opportunity to do this. On Monday, the very next day, there's a Nick Rad meet and greet session. So this occurs in the resident lounge as well on Monday from nine to 10 o'clock in the morning. And Nick is the National Imaging Informatics curriculum that many of you guys have taken, which is co-sponsored by the RSNA and SIM. And this is uh, a, a lot of you guys have taken this class virtually, thousands of you guys have taken this class virtually, but this is an opportunity for you to meet in person all the other alumni that have taken this course you may also get the unique opportunity to meet some of the instructors like Dr. Kathy Andriol, Dr. Tessa Cook, Dr. Nabil Saftar. These are legends in imaging informatics, uh, literally. And you'll get to meet them, talk to them, talk to other people in your class. Just a great way to network and you know, another uh, do not miss session at RSNA. This here, I want everyone to mark this day, the resident RSNA case-based competition that occurs. This is gonna occur on uh, Monday, two to 3 p.m. in the Discovery Theater. This is literally my favorite part of the meeting. And I'm obviously biased because I actually help present and I moderate this session. I present the cases here. I'm doing this this year with uh, one of my colleagues, Dr. Eric England from the University of Cincinnati, uh, who's the PD and the Vice Chair of Education at University of Cincinnati. But this is just a super fun way to see cases, learn radiology cases that have been submitted from all across the country in a really fun and interactive way. We're using Poll Everywhere this year. Um, it's a competition between different residency programs in the country for bragging rights. Whoever gets the highest score gets a trophy. Even if your program isn't participating, still come, you'll learn a ton. We have, there's a great audience there. This is a nice picture of the competition that occurred in 2018. You can see all these trainees on their phones answering questions. Just a absolutely great opportunity to learn. This picture, by the way, was taken from Radiographics in the May 2019 issue of Radiographics. But literally my favorite part of the meeting, I get to present these cases. I'm lucky that I get to meet all of you guys in person. So please, please come to this session. Literally the best part of RSNA for me. 
There's also a resin fellow symposium that occurs on Tuesday. This is a do not miss session as well. This is it's a three hour session, 1.30 to 4.30 uh, central time. And the topics that are discussed here are tons of things that you don't learn in med school or residency. So things like, you know, the job market, how to evaluate a job offer, personal finance issues, AI reimbursement. These are things that I wish I learned when I was a resident or fellow and I had no clue. Like for example, when I got my first job, I had no clue how to, you know, evaluate a job offer letter. But, you know, these are symposiums that are helping you, uh, giving you the, the knowledge to, to do so. So I think it's a do not miss session. Please attend this session. I think you'll learn a ton. Right after this session at 4.30 p.m. at the Lakeside Ballroom is the resident reception. And this again is another opportunity to meet tons of people, peers, getting to know other new peers, and just a great opportunity to network. So the resident reception, Tuesday, 4.30, Lakeside Ballroom. There are other additional experiences that I think are very important and very key at RSNA as well. So for example, there are case-based subspecialty courses that occur at RSNA. So there are many, many cases that occur. So in every subspecialty, so case-based courses in IR, uh, neuroradiology, MSK radiology, cardiac, thoracic, literally every subspecialty. And they're taught by some of the best educators in the country. So for example, you know, just to name a few, like Dr. Christine Glassenberry teaches a head and neck a case-based course. Dr. Jeffrey Ross teaches a spine case-based course. So there's so many of them. I could name so many, but these are really golden opportunities for residents to learn really high yield case-based courses in a really interactive way. So, you know, just take a look at the agenda and, and the program and make sure that you attend at least some of these. There's also an AI showcase or an AI deep learning lab. You know, many companies, maybe even around a hundred companies come to demonstrate their AI uh, software solutions to many different, you know, radiology workflow problems. Uh, great way to just see the technological advances and technological innovations that are occurring in radiology. There's really nothing else like it that I've ever seen at any other conference. And, you know, this is, you know, a lot of us were drawn to radiology through technology, and this is just a great way to see that at the AI Showcase. It's available all throughout the entire duration of the conference. So please take a look at the AI Showcase as well. And finally, I think because the RSNA is, it's very overwhelming. It's often helpful to make an agenda when you go there because there's just, there's over 450 educational and scientific courses that are offered. And there's absolutely no way you can attend all of them. But what you can do is you can make an agenda. So if you go on the on your web browser, type rsna.org backslash annual meeting, you scroll down to the page and go to where there's programming, you click programming, that'll take you to this page here. And you're going to click the top left hand corner where it says program. And that will take you to this screen here where you can browse the entire program by day, by session type, topic, industry presentations, et cetera. And if you browse by session type, you can see that there's all sorts of session types, like case-based, interactive sessions, you know, scientific sessions, quality improvement reports, pretty much everything that you would want to learn about in radiology. If you browse by topic, you can see the, the amount and extent of topics here, education, 3D printing, neuroradiology, physics, professionalism, pretty much everything you'd want to know about radiology right here at your fingertips. You can then scroll through the uh, different sessions here. If you want to add a course to your agenda, you can click it. You can click add to my agenda and it'll turn red as you as I did right here for the Jeopardy GIGU cases. And then finally, when you're done, your agenda may look something like this, where you have all the courses that you picked, you know, stratified by the day and the time. And this will help focus your efforts when you go to RSNA to make sure that you go to the sessions that you really want to go to. I found this to be very helpful, uh, especially at a conference like RSNA, which is, you know, very vast. Um, this will really help you kind of go to the sessions that you really want to go to. So RSNA 2021, make sure you have fun. It's a great, great opportunity to network, to learn. Make sure you take care of yourself, exercise, go eat deep dish pizza in Chicago. That's what it's known for, right? Tremendous opportunity to learn some of the luminaries, and educational giants in our field are teaching these courses. So take advantage of it. And please, if nothing else, make sure you say hello to me. I love meeting all of you guys. Uh, one of my favorite things about doing this work is to meet all the new residents, fellows, and medical students that are gonna be the future leaders of our field. Uh, that's really what you know gives me great satisfaction. So please say hello to me and I'll see you in Chicago. I can't wait to be there November 28th. Thank you so much. And I hope this was very helpful to you.